Hello, hello, it's Stamplet here. Here's an item on summations. Evaluate the following sum. 1 minus 1 third plus 1 fifth minus 1 seventh plus so on and so forth. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Now, as you can see here, um, up in the title, we have integrals for a summation and therefore we are trying to use integrals to help us solve this sum. Now, we're going to do the following. So, the 1, I'm going to make it as the integral dx from 0 to 1. The 1 third, I'm going to make it the integral of x squared dx evaluated from 0 to 1. And I'm going to do similarly for, for the 1 fifth and the 1 7. Now, you guys can verify this on your own. I'm going to try to do the last one over here, but you just simply use the power rule. So essentially, we're integrating x raised to 6 with respect to x. That's going to give us 1 7, x raised to 7. And we're evaluating this from 0 to 1. And you guys can verify it easily. It's going to be equal to 1 7 because it's 1 7 minus 0. And you're going to realize that it's going to be true for all the integrals that um, we're going to assign to each of these um, fractions that we have here. Now, after we do that, we're going to get the following. So 1 minus 1 third plus 1 fifth minus 1 seventh, so on and so forth. We're going to have these integrals. And then since um, all, all of them are with respect to x and all of them have um, the bounds from 0 to 1, we're going to put them into, um, in, we're going to put them inside one integral. So the, essentially, we're just asked to get 1 minus x squared plus x to the fourth minus x to the sixth plus so on and so forth. We're going to integrate that with respect to x and then evaluate it from 0 to 1. Now, this uh, red underlined um, sum, it's actually one of those infinite geometric sums. So we can treat it as a geometric sum, a geometric series with first term here highlighted in blue, 1. And then the common ratio, it's going to be negative x squared. So take note that we multiply negative x squared to get each succeeding term. So we use the formula um, a over 1 minus r. And for this rule, um, for this formula, we must have the absolute value of r, or the common ratio, be less than 1. Now, well, this is obviously true in our case because our r is x squared. Oh, sorry, our r is negative x squared. And we know that we're just evaluating it from 0 to 1, so we don't have any issues here. So we're going to use this to help us solve for this one. Now, the first term, a, it's 1, and then we know that our r is going to be negative x squared, so it's going to become 1 over 1 minus negative x squared. Now, simplify this result, we're going to get 1 over 1 plus x squared. So essentially, we're just trying to solve the integral 1 over 1 plus x squared dx from 0 to 1. And this is a very nice expression because we know that the definite integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared with respect to x that's just simply the in, uh, inverse tangent. So the inverse tangent of x plus c. So essentially, we're just evaluating inverse tangent of x from uh, 0 to 1. So there we go. Now the, in, the inverse tangent of x evaluated from 0 to 1, that's just simply equal to the inverse tangent of 1 minus the inverse tangent of 0. Now the inverse tangent of 1, it's going to be pi over 4 or 45 degrees but we just use radians here. So the inverse tangent of one, that's gonna be pi over four because tangent pi over four, that's equal to one. And then here, the inverse tangent of zero, that's gonna be zero because tangent of zero or zero degrees, that's um, equal to zero. So pi over four minus zero, we get that this sum over here, one minus one third plus one fifth minus one seven plus so on and so forth, that's going to be equal to pi over four. And this will be our final answer. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.